Oh well. We are going to make a chat bot thing. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure this sort of like chat GP2. And what we're going to do first is that I'm going to go to Panera.com. Go in there. Okay. Actually, it's platform.openai.com. And then we go to, and then you go to make an account. And you do view API keys and create a new secret key. And remember to paste it. Okay. So it's platform.openai.com. And then so firstly, we're going to go to platform.openai.com and then you're going to view API keys and then you go to create new secret key and paste and copy it. Paste the secret key some or safe and then you can begin the video the tutorial you can see that i've already done this so i'm not doing this again and then after that you're going to install install open ai i'm going to use my terminal what is this Pip install open AI here. Yeah. I've already done it. So, I don't. so firstly we're going to import pin AI. Then we're gonna have the parameters for generating the text here. So we have the model engine. I'm gonna use the text of and see three here. Yeah. That would be text. Let's see, zero three, and then we have the variation, just known as temperature. Okay, let's do. I'm gonna put zero. You can put anything you want. It's just the variation. I have no variation there, and the maximum tokens would be max tokens equals. I'll put 156. And then now we can, we're going to print our model. So we're going to do F and F script, and then this is the model engine model. And we can define a chat function, which of course, of course we'll put the input inside here, inside of here. That's the input. So our prompt would equal user. And now we can generate a text which has response. Okay, we can store a response here equals open AI dot completion dot create. And then since there's not much space, I'll just put an enter in there. And we'll put inside of the parameters for generating the text, which is the engine, which is one. We'll put model engine. We should put the comma. The prompt would equal the prompt the prompt variable, not the prompt parameter. And we'll put what is that? We'll put temperature. It's temperature. We'll do the same with max tokens equals max tokens and now we're done with our response so now all we do is we can print the response which is put to make this more interesting we'll put ai and i'll put our response the first index
And now we're going to find a setup, which we will get give instructions to the chatbot. So we're going to chat, which is this here. And then I'll put, let's say, we are a chat bot trained by Open AI. Answer with few tokens, with as few tokens as possible. Answer concise. And that's our instructions, and we're going to obviously going to use that one to set up. Now we can do two tries because we don't want any errors. These are two errors, and I do not like they're very annoying, so I'm going to prevent them, and they're also kind of useless. Oh, but we're not going to do anything in the, that case. So in this guy we'll do a while tr true. And then we'll do chat. Input. Human. Or whatever. You can put you or something like that. I don't know. And then, up top of here, we need openai.api key equals your API key is in there. So you paste it in here. And I'll paste mine. And I'll leave it blank for now. So now we can test this out. Hello there. Yeah, you see, it can actually think, and we can ask it something like, how do I make a chatbot with Python? Let's see what it's going to say. Something happened there. Hmm, it's a complex process, but it can be done. Well, obviously it can be done, we're doing it right now. So long. Okay, let me see next. Thank you. So, thank you for watching this video. See you next time and remember to subscribe.